Hello, this is Hakka Bean, and today we are going to SCP-1357. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I have a number, SCP-1357. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. The perimeter of SCP-1357 is being monitored by Foundation personnel at all times, with a minimum of two security personnel posted at every entrance and exit of the park. Any persons approaching in SCP-1357 are to be detained by Foundation personnel and administered Class B amnestics. If the persons are carrying instances of SCP-1357-B, the instances are to be confiscated and found in the records room of Site-47, Cabin 74, for possible future testing. On the 13th of every month, the Foundation agents are to identify the persons receiving the new instances of SCP-1357-B. Recover the instances and register Class B amnestics to the persons involved. Due to the specific personal, personnel required to activate the anomalous properties of SCP-1357, the class testing of this anomaly is effectively impossible. Testing of this object may be accomplished by groups of Foundation personnel able to provide the required subjects necessary to manifest SCP-1357-A. Any persons involved in testing that are not directly involved in the Foundation matter there must be enraged Class A and Essex after testing and monitored for two months for signs of residual memories. Any subjects showing residual memories are to be administered Class A and Essex and monitored for another two months. Due to these constraints, all these contestants must be kept to a minimum and approved by no less than three level four and level and five level three personnel. Description: SCP-1357 is a theme park located in Redacted, Poland, with an approximate and with an area of approximately four kilometers or squared. There are two, there are four ticket routes that allow entrance into the park, based at the northern, eastern, southern, and western sides of the area. SCP-1357 houses various attractions normally found at theme parks such as amusement rides, bumper cars, and assorted boots and stores. No items, commodities, or snacks require currency of any kind to operate or purchase. The types of rides and attractions seem to be influenced by the preferences of the youngest subject in the group activating SCP-1357's anomalous effects. Rides found in non-anomalous theme parks have been observed, as well as attractions such as sapient foodstuffs and animals, temporal displacements, and extra-dimensional portals. SCP-1357's anomalous properties are activated when a specific group of people enter the park. The requirements of the group are as follows. At least two subjects that are involved in a romantic relationship with each other. At least one subject under the age of 18 that identifies the aforementioned subjects as guardians. And each subject must carry an instance of SCP-1357-1357-B. B. When these requirements are met, a group of human and individuals designated as SCP-1357-A manifest throughout the anomalous area. SCP-1357-A manifest as stations vary in age, ethnicity, sex, and gender. All instances are always uniformly costumed. The costume and was actually based on characters from various media. Notable characters that instances of SCP-1357 have a, a have shown costume um, and that's included Winnie the Pooh, Barney the Dinosaur, and Batman. The appearance of SCP-1357-A appears to be strongly influenced by the personal experiences of the youngest subjects in the group. The instances of SCP-1357-A appear within the park as both customers and employees and are known to be exceptionally amiable. SCP-1357-B are tickets that read, Playland emits one person per ticket. Have a magical family experience. In the native language of the recipients, they are delivered to. Instances of SCP-1357-B have been found to be out 
to sort families around the area along with directions to the park and a short pamphlet describing SCP-1357. See Addendum, S Addendum 1357 Gamma for the transcription of the pamphlet. Instances of SCP-1357 and B are consistently delivered on the 13th day of every month. The Foundation has not yet discovered the source of the tickets, nor has it found a pattern regarding the recipients of SCP-1357-B. Families have, report have reportedly received anywhere from three to six instances of SCP-1357-B at once. If the tickets are redeemed for interest into a park before the Thursday day of the following month, the tickets will disappear. SCP 1357B will allow entrance into the park by any individual, regardless whether or they are they were in the intended recipient or not. Any personnel that are not carrying SCP 1357B that, that attempt to enter the park will be denied access by several instances of SCP 1357A. SCP-1357 was discovered when the Foundation was alerted to reports of a constantly changing alien amusement park from the town of Redacted, Poland. The claims were investigated and traced back to SCP-1357, which was active at the time of discovery. Also, this of the town were questioned and administered class B amnestics. Damn, the Foundation made the fun police, I guess. Lame. Anyway, we have Addendum. 1357 Gamma. Congratulations! Your family has been selected to participate in some good old family fun at Playland. Parents, bring your kids, and kids, bring your parents. Take some time off of working and take some time for playing. We have everything you can want from roller coasters to parades to fireworks and anything else you can imagine, as long as you remember to ask nicely. If you want to talk to a representative, call us at Redacted phone number, or visit it us at Redacted.com. Foundation and calls this number have revealed no new information other than in the typical hours of service at uh, of the park. <sighs> Interview log. 1357 Lambda 1. On April 8, 2005, Agent Fred Edricks and his immediate family were exposed with audio recording devices that constantly transmitted into Foundation and consoles. They entered SCP-1357 using three confiscated instances of SCP-1357-B. Fredericks attempted to interview an instance of SCP-1357-A. Interviewed SCP 1357A 4878, which was dressed similar to Steve from the children's program Blue's Clues. Interviewer Agent Fredericks. Forward Agent Fredericks has actually a single SCP 1357A subject out of the population and began wandering around the park for the purpose of this interview. Begin log. Can you tell me about this place? Sure, Flatland is a place for all your family fun needs. We cater specifically to your fa to your family's needs each time, and do our best to make sure you're satisfied. Who made you, Mister Fred Edricks? That's certainly not important. No member of Frederick's family had previously re revealed their last name to any instance of SCP 1357 A. It is important. Please just answer my questions. Aside to his daughter, not right now, sweetie. I'm trying to work. Work? Why, Mr. Frederick's? There's no need to worry about anything so silly as work. Just have fun! Look, your daughter wants to play! Aside to his daughter. Haley, I'll be there in a minute. I promise. No, I'm not being mean to Steve. Go over with mom, okay? 
Speaking into SCP-327A, I'm afraid that I must work right now. You are exactly why I have my job. <sighs> I'm sorry, but if you can't relax, I'm afraid you're going to ruin the fun for everyone else if you don't stop. Please just answer my questions. Now, how long has this park been open? I'm terribly sorry to do this, but you seem to be upsetting your daughter. End log. Closing statement. Agent Fredericks was forcibly removed from SCP-1357 by three instances of SCP-1357-A. Agent Fredericks' wife attempted to exit the park despite great protests from their daughter. As Adelaide Fredericks attempted to leave the park, several instances of SCP-1357 separated the subjects, prevented Ms. Resing Miss Fredericks from re-entering the park and leading her daughter by hand into the park. One, e one of the individuals saw this saying, Don't worry, don't worry, sweetie. You don't have to leave if you don't want to. They'll be back for you later, when you're ready. After the e events of interview log 1357, Lambda-1, MTF, Delta-2, aka Rescue Rangers, was dispatched in an attempt to recover Haley Fredericks from SCP-1357. Despite superior power hour and training, MTF Delta-2 was outnumbered and overwhelmed by SCP-1357-A instances. and was unable to recover the subject. Further recovery attempts are currently pending. Interview Log 1357 Lambda 2 Haley Fredericks' uh, audio recording device continued to transmit signals after the events of Interview Log 1357 Lambda 1. The following are excerpts of audio received. All voices not positively identified as belonging to Haley Fredericks are presumed to belong to various instances of SCP-1357-A. Say, why are you a girl, Steve? Why are the boys seems like busy getting the park ready for you? Note, this was received during the failed MTF recovery attempt. This is so, so, so much fun! I never ever want to leave! I love you, Mr. Steve! Haha, <laughs> I love you too, Haley! I'm so glad you came to join us! Guess what's here, Haley? What is it? What is it? Here comes the mail, it's just a snow, makes one whack my tail. Oh, when it comes, I want to. Oh, well, mail! No, the song goes, um, the song says it, it never fails, not, it's just a snail. Haha, <laughs> silly me, I forgot. Anyway, here are your letters. You got one from your mom and dad. Yay! Agent Fredericks reported that neither or he nor his wife had written letters to their daughter during this time. Thank you, um, Steve, I can't read. Can you tell me what, it's, what this says? Of course, honey. Dear Haley, we hope you are having a lot of fun. We would love to come visit, but we have so much work and we are tired. Just send us a letter when you want to come home, and we'll be right there right away. P.S. Daddy says to brush your teeth. <sighs> and here's the biggest room we have. You get to sleep here, Haley. I hope you like it. We made that big thinking chair just for you. We made sure it was big enough and snugly enough to sleep on every night. Oh, I love it! Thank you, Mr. Stevie!
Why aren't Mommy and Daddy coming yet? I thought I wrote that letter so good. Oh, Haley, they're just busy. I'm sure they'll be right here as soon as I read that letter. Mr. Steve, when is Mom and Daddy coming back? What's the matter, honey? Are you not having fun anymore? Oh, I am. I just want to know when I have to go home. <laughs> oh, Haley, you're always welcome here. Yay! I'm so happy you're here, Mr. Steve. My legs hurt, and we've been waiting forever. Are you sure the letter said they were coming today? Hmm, let me check again. We got your wonderful letter. Found a day off. Coming on Saturday, front entrance. Yep, that's what the letter says. Hmm. Can we go back inside? I want a slushy. Of course, Haley. And while we're there, we can write another letter to them asking why they didn't come when you asked them to. Did we say yesterday? Sorry, sweetie, we forgot. We were real, real busy doing our grown-up things and didn't remember to pick you up. We're real sorry. I think we have another day off next month. So we can pick you up then. Love, Daddy and Mommy. Steve, do mommies and daddies sometimes stop loving their babies? Hmm? Sometimes, I think. Why do you ask? I think my mommy and daddy stopped loving me. She started sobbing. Oh, oh, oh. Dear friend, don't be upset. We're here to love you even if your mean old parents won't. Forever? Forever! Promise? Promise, we'll always be here for you, even if they aren't. Miss Steve, I call my mommy and daddy. Haley, stop thinking such silly things about those mean people. Here, have some more funnel cake, and then we can ride on the carousel again. No! No, no, no! I want my mommy and daddy! Oh, dearie. They're no fun. I'm here for you now. We're your family. Come on, let's play. Sounds of falling objects. I don't want to play no more, Miss Steve. Sure you do, silly. Come on, there's a brand new playground that's all for you. Can you take me to them? Why? Aren't you having fun anymore? I miss my mommy and daddy a whole, whole lot. But we're your family. Nuh-uh. You're my friends. I want my family. So you don't love us anymore? Of course I do, but I love my family even more. There is a prolonged silence. <sighs> well, it happens eventually. Come on, let's get you to your family. Approximately five minutes of footsteps. Steve? Steve, I think we're lost. I know, dearie. I know. What's that thing? It looks scary. You said you wanted your family. Didn't you, Haley? Well, come on. This will take you right to them. Promise? Of course, Haley. I would never lie to you.
Well, okay. There's a sound of hissing, as well as a sword it beeps and whirring. See you soon, sister. Haley is screaming. Note, at this point, the audio transmission device ceased functioning. Incident Report 1357 Zeta Agent Frederick returned to SCP-1357 unauthorized the day following the previously described events, and proceeded to kill approximately 30 instances of SCP-1357-A while showing obscenities. Frederick ceased a firing upon being a soldier and appeared to be Haley. Frederick's group urged to find entrance of SCP-37. The soldiers had Agent Frederick has said, I told you, I don't want to leave yet. Subsequently, two instances of SCP-1357-A approached the agent and murdered him unconscious via blows to the head. Agent Fredericks had been has been issued a warning for unprofessional behavior er and damaging the anomaly. Hmm. <sighs> Incident Report 1357 ETA Agent Fredericks was allowed to oversee testing of SCP-1357 on October 16, 2005. During experimentation, Agent Fredericks used a spare instance of SCP-1357-B and entered the area independent of the test subjects. Fredericks sought out the subject who resembled hate Lee Fredericks and reportedly attempted to converse with it. The subject did not respond, and Frederick ceased attempts at communication after approximately 15 minutes, then left the park. Site Director's Note As of, uh, of October 16, 2005, Agent Fredericks is required to attend a minimum of eight counseling sessions with the on site psychologist, Dr. Yeats. Furthermore, Fredericks has been hereby reassigned to SCP Redacted. And it's is, and is forbidden from working with SCP-3057. Site Director Langley. Audio Log. Uh, 3057 Psy. The following log was transcribed from an intercepted telephone call to SCP-3057 using the number from the pamphlet provided with every delivery of SCP-3057-B. One of the voices has been positively identified as that belonged to Haley Fredericks. Hello, you've reached Playland. I mean, hello, you've reached Playland, the perfect place for family fun. How may I help you? I want my daughter back. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid your daughter wants to stay with us. You can always visit, though. Just let us know, and we'll send you two complimentary tickets. I think she wants to stay, though. Losing a kid to an anomaly. How tragic. Anyway, that was SCP-3057. If you liked that ad video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!